This video is a brief overview of the procedures for unloading Elka Seal GCL rolls from a flatbed semi-trailer using appropriately rated unloading equipment. Firstly, ensure that the driver has appropriate personal protective equipment. Instruct the driver to park the prime mover or semi-trailer rig in a position that allows a forklift more than a roll length access to both ends and the sides of the trailer, preferably on a hard, flat, paved area. If necessary, unhitch and park the prime mover in a position that doesn't impede forklift access around the trailer, particularly if using a GCL prong. It is important that you inspect the tarpaulin for any signs of damage or insufficient coverage of the load before allowing the driver to loosen or remove any fastenings. If no signs of damage or insufficient coverage are apparent, the tarpaulin can be removed from the GCL load. Next, inspect the load to check whether any rolls have shifted during the journey in a way that may cause them to move when the straps are released. If the load looks stable, remove the straps from the load. Remove the gates from either side of the trailer if unloading with slings, or the gates from either end of the trailer if using a GCL prong. Slings should be visually inspected prior to unloading. Only slings in undamaged condition should be used to lift GCL rolls. All lifting equipment should be safety compliant to the appropriate Australian standard. If in doubt, seek advice from a qualified lifting professional. Moving, storage and stacking of GCL rolls and bentonite paste should be done in a manner which is in full accordance with the Elka Seal storage and installation guidelines. Start removing rolls from the top with the bolsters in place until reaching the bottom row. The bolster uprights can be removed at this stage. If correlating of roll numbers with the delivery docket is to be done after unloading, place the rolls so that there is visual access to roll labels.